Yes, welcome everyone as we celebrate four years on the craft store, formerly Hojanda, with All and Create. And we've got one of the biggest, biggest, incredible weekends for you to just indulge and enjoy. And lots and lots of brand new collections from All and Create as well. So there's a huge variety coming across the weekend. What we've got here for you tonight is a debut and a premiere collection created especially for the fourth anniversary here on the craft store from the one and only here she is the legend <laughs> in person that is tracy evans welcome <laughs> thank you for that day <laughs> it's nice to actually see you in the flesh because last time we were, it was all via the screen yes wasn't so it's it? completely different when you're here so yeah good evening everybody it's wonderful wonderful to have you here because it's always nice to to meet the face behind the designs as well because yeah. we can kind of Sometimes you have to, from a distance, you have to get into the designer's head and kind yes. of work out where they were going. You don't want to get into my head, Derek. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think we're going to take a journey through there in the next 60 minutes. We're already busy, by the way, on the one day special. I know this has been hugely anticipated. I know Tracy's designs are absolutely loved. Um, and you've created something just wonderfully escapism based here i think haven't you tracy i think this is the way i escape to yeah. be honest it's sort of i indulge in my love of nature yeah so i'm always inspired by nature i mean mm -hmm. i know i don't want to say that every time but i am yeah, yeah i'm inspired by nature all the time whether i'm going out for a walk or whether you know i'm out and about i'm always inspired dry leaves anything i'm that nutty person that picks things up and thinks oh this will be a good stamp yeah um so this is all inspired by nature and with the two a5 stamps mm -hmm. i've tried to incorporate lots of focal imagery but with backgrounds i mean i love backgrounds uh, and i love in incorporating background stamps with focal imagery so i'm hoping that this ticks all the boxes for both those well let me tell you some extremely good news already. I know, Tracy, you have a huge following. I know All & Create are a, a massive, massive... They're a sensation in crafting, they really are. Um, and you've been waiting for the stroke of six o'clock when all the prices, you know, kicked in and went live and everyone was waiting. OK, I'll wait until the show starts and that's it. I'll get in straight away before the rush arrives. And, and that was brilliant, brilliant work straight away because 10% of the entire one day stock collection has already sold. And that shows you what an amazing following All & Create have and Tracy's designs as well, uh, which is really, really good. I love, can I just say, on that stamp set there, yep. that, do you know what that reminds me of straight away? Well, you tell me what I'm thinking. I don't, do you know, I don't know. <laughs> OK, well, I, I, have a, I have a tax disc in my head. Oh, yes. Do you know, I never even thought of that. There you go, you see. But if somebody was passing their driving test, you've already thought about that, you could put that as a... There I you never go. even thought of that. <laughs> well, of course, because a tax disc isn't a thing anymore, is no. it? It's all just done on oh, the computer now, yeah. isn't it? We don't, we don't. But you might have some old tax discs that you think, how can I work that into my crafting? Hello, Tracy's just given you the open door. <laughs> I'm obsessed with circles. I'm obsessed. <laughs> this is such a lovely collection, again, because it's so, so varied. I think you'll find that there is something for everyone here. And again, what I love about All and Create, and I was with Abs this afternoon yes. with some of his designs and Bipashas as yes. well, uh, which, of course, these will slot into and work with absolutely perfectly right the way across All and Create. Um, but you leave enough room for us to take whatever journey we want to. You've taken the first steps yep. and then we can take the and continuing journey. I think, that, I think journey. that's important. As a designer, you need to leave a bit of imagination of so that it can be taken further. But also for some people that don't want to, they don't want to do anything but just stamp, nice, clean and simple, you've got to cater for that. Sometimes it's very difficult when you're designing because you can't design just for yourself, you're designing for an audience. So you're trying to incorporate lots of different things and think of lots of different people using the stamps, male and female. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. And, and, and you can really put your, pardon the pun, stamp on this. Let me take you through the stamp sets and then we'll talk about how these came to be and, and how it all started. So your one day special is 2A5 and 4A7 um, stamps, there, which is really, really good because the A7 acrylic block from All & Create has only just been released in the last couple of weeks. Um, I think I launched it with, with Janet last week or the week before. Um, so this is just brilliant, brilliant timing. Let's start then with foliage, shall we? Uh, over here 
Uh, which again is, is wonderful. I can't think of anything but tax, tax disc <laughs> looking at that. But of course, that's just where my mind's going because all the numbers are in there and numbers are a big thing with All and Create as well, aren't they? Um, and this is just such a lovely balance of, of scales and sizes going on. I love the fact that you've got the leaf skeleton there as well. You see, I love leaf skeletons because that means you can see things through slightly. So that's yeah. why I put the text in so that you, it wasn't a solid leaf and it made it a little bit different, but also that the leaf combines beautifully with the Blackbeard stamp that I released a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I always like them to work together and I like to, you know, n take note that if anybody's collecting a library, that the library always works together. And, so. and we'll bring those um, the details for, for those stamps that Tracy just mentioned at the bottom of the screen as well, um, because that's release two uh, from June. And their releases are coming thick and fast as well, I know, which is really, really good. Um, the next one that we've got is this collection here, which is at one with nature. Um, and I think that's beautiful. I love, you know, herbs, growing herbs. People always forget about just how beautiful herbs look while they're growing, because they're not a planting plant to be no. seen. They're more of a... I need some rosemary, but yes. they are such wonderful plants, oh, aren't they? Oh, they are. And to be honest, I was inspired because my husband bought a herb. He isn't a gardener. I'm the gardener. I adore gardening. Oh, brilliant. And, and he wanted some tarragon in the garden. And it was funny because when I was thinking of designs that would work together, I thought, do you know, I've never done a herb. No. So that might be the first of many. <laughs> do you know why? Because we always plant her a herbs, don't we, just in a tucked away corner somewhere. They're nowhere near the rose bushes and everything but else. They smell they? gorgeous. Oh, they're amazing. They and they're amazing gorgeous. looking, interesting yeah. foliage. I mean, you grow fennel or sorrel or whatever it might be, a herb, and you just watch the way it kind of flourishes and you forget to capture those yeah. moments because you're just after the herb itself or the onion or the garlic or whatever it might be. Um, these are, are brilliant. And you've got a nice wide variety. Um, I have to update you again already on the stock um, because you are absolutely snapping this up left right and center even before we finish the preview here uh, 940283 is your item number here you are absolutely loving this um, you haven't even heard yet the best bit of all of this um, is that there's going to be a free gift as well because we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of all and create um, here with us at the craft store so there is a even if you watch the um, the, the weekend wow show with absolutely this is a completely and utterly different free gift from Tracy herself and we'll get to that in just a moment once we've finished our preview so let's go through the uh, a7 stamps at the bottom here four different um, and I love these when you posted a little sneaky peeky online uh, which I, I saw I think it was yesterday wasn't yes, it yes yes uh, and you did a live as well I did, didn't you? yes um, I looked at the well all of these and when you take them just in their isolation they are just a dream, an absolute dream. So you're looking at leaves there, which just looks like this lovely shower of tumbling leaves if you've taken it all as one. But of course, then you can you can do what All and Create are absolutely famous for, which is just taking elements of that. Yes, and also because that's an open leaf, you can obviously, if you stamp that onto a book page, you'd see the text behind. And also, just because that's black in the out in the outline and the background, yeah. that doesn't mean you have to stamp it in black. You could stamp that in turquoise, green, and it yeah. looks a lot. It looks totally different when you stamp it in a colour. And they just. I was lacking a little bit in A7 backgrounds, uh -huh. so that's why. When I was designing, I thought, now I can see where some of my weaknesses are. I hadn't got enough A7 backgrounds, so that's why I, I designed these. So this is making up for lost time. Yes. <laughs> um, right, let's go to the next one then, which again is a, a, just a lovely kind of r meandering river um, of leaves. It's wonderful. I love the movement in this. You can, f you can almost feel the breeze and feel the sunshine, feel the life yeah. in that, even though these are kind of designed as more kind of background yep. elements. It doesn't have to be, oh, no. it can be anywhere no. in your but composition. you could stamp that, I think Joe Rice has done one, you can stamp that, just that background on its own, and just add a sentiment. You don't have to have anything else. You can just have a colourful background, that stamped on the top, and a nice simple card. Yeah. But on the gel plates, I've got a little mini gel plate, that works beautifully. Yeah, Looks I can really imagine. good on the gel plate as well. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Uh, and the design team, you're seeing all the names of the design team um, scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Have to say, wowzers. Absolutely, you have knocked it out of the park. I'm going to show you some samples as we get through um, because you've just done amazingly. Heather and Joe and Janet and Joe and Debbie and Kelly and Corey and <laughs> many, many more, I'm sure. Um, okay. Let's have a look at the third of the, because we're only halfway through the A7 stamps here. They're just absolutely brilliant. This one 
is Daisy Wise. I love, there's something about sort of silhouette kind of stamps, but that are not too chunky. Yeah. Sort of a delicate silhouette. Mm -hmm. uh, and also I like stamping another stamp onto the silhouette and then stamping it so you've got a different background on the silhouette, which I'll show anyway, I've done that before. Um, but I like it because yes, it's a silhouette, but it's not bulky and it's no. not too over the top. So I quite like that. And actually, if you've got a main fo focal feature in the center of your card, which you kind of lift up and give some dimension, one, two, three, four would just frame it beautifully, just yeah. in each of the four corners. But wouldn't you could it? cut that into little squares as well. It doesn't have to be that shape. Of course you, you could, could cut it into little squares. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be as it seems. Never, I love it. Never is. And that tight print and the numbers that are absolutely signature All and Create, they're all part of this. So you think about everybody else in the All and Create stable, and it just works perfectly. Uh, fourth and final one, and I think, and I know it's wrong to have favourites, but I do absolutely I love, love this. We are uh, the. Uh, Katie in the in the gallery right now is producing the show is saying whoa there is a tidal wave of interest happening right now it's really really busy um, so days uh, indulge in daisies is the um, is the final one last but by no means least because this the colours you can throw at this which I've done I've done one word. one of my demos will be using that one with lots of colours it, somebody mentioned it to me it's a bit 70s if you put some sort of hippie colours in the background yeah. it could be a bit 70s couldn't it yeah if you, so you stamped could take it, it stamped it in in brown and did some lovely sort of crazy yellows and mustards then that would just be um, I'll just pass awesome. you that sample Derek because yes. that's one of mine I'm demoing but it shows sort of a 70s vibe oh, to it yes look, look, sort look, of look, gives look, you look. a 70s vibe I love this. Now, wait, because I still haven't shown you your free gift yet, but have a look at this. It makes it look 70s, doesn't it's, it? Yeah, it's love. It is very groovy, baby, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and layer it up in lots of different colours. And don't be afraid to leave it colourless in places as well, just to, just to add that depth and that dimension. That's wonderful. So we're going to see that in demo. When are you doing that one? That one will probably be 8 o'clock. Fabulous. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt them. No, no, you're fine. You interrupt away. It's <laughs> absolutely fine. Uh, you're the creator. I need to know absolutely everything. <laughs> right, now, everyone who is shopping on this one-day special show, so that's now, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock tonight, 8 a.m. in the morning, midday tomorrow and 4 p.m. tomorrow, while stocks last, one per customer, anyone shopping on these one-day special shows will get this brand-new A7 stamp, which is called, gorgeously, Squiggles. It's worth $7.99. That's its price tag on its own. But one per customer over the next 24 hours while the stocks last, that is free. So if you're buying the one day special, you get that absolutely free, which again just extends the value. Right. OK, let's reevaluate where we are right now. Where? Yeah. Really? OK. Tracy, I told you you had no worries here whatsoever. A quarter of the, the entire one day special stock uh, is now allocated. Um, so please make sure that you get yours as quickly as you possibly can. Right, let's show some finished samples because, of course, you know, and, and I don't know, this is I, always naturally, I don't know why, I always naturally gravitate to Janet Pring's. Yeah. Samples first. We all have different tastes that we like. This is, what, this is what's good about being creative. Uh, and I think there, Janet's got a subtle background and then a strong focal point. But I think that rosemary on that piece really takes centre stage, that rosemary does. Yeah. And again, using the blackbird combined Stunning. with the stamps to prove that all the designs work together beautifully. I love it. Uh, here's another one. It was just the next one in the pile, but it's another, it's another Janet. Janet uh, loves to stamp around the outside and then add a focal image in the inside that's yep. quite, sort of quite stark so that it doesn't detract from the focal image. So that shows the focal <gasps> image beautifully. Look. And that's crackled. That's by Look Heather. Look at that. It is just delicious. Uh, one more for now, and this is super, super, super. One of Joe Rice's absolute multimedia wonders here. There's a little bit of everything. I think there's a little bit of the garden has made its way indoors here as well. Joe's just like me. What can I find that I can stamp on? Yeah, <laughs> this is that lovely kind of faux moss material. Yes. Um, it's lovely, but there's a bit of everything. There's a, there's a little clip up on the side of that. Um, it's beautiful. And again, all using this set and then using everything else that you've got in your stash and you find in your life and just incorporating that in there as well. Um, listen. Without further ado, we are going to get uh, to demonstration as quickly as we possibly can. A quarter of the stock is now allocated. So all I'll say is 
Get this in your basket. Get it checked out right now. Remember, the free gift worth $7.99 is coming your way, one per customer while stocks last. And it is a different one to the Weekend Wow show with abs as well. Uh, so it's brilliant. Free gifts absolutely being showered upon you this weekend from All and Career. It's bonkers. It really is. Um, and look out because there's many more uh, happening over the weekend. Right, let's go to the website because um, Tracy's other collections are there on the website as well. So we've got uh, the June releases, um, number one and number two. Go and have a close look at those. And there is so much more for you to uh, enjoy on the website. Remember, if you're buying any of those, your free gift will apply. If you're buying anything from this show, one per customer, while the stocks last as well. And they are beautiful they really are in fact that last set that you've just got up there the pine cone grungy alphabet and framework elements i'm quite liking the look of because i do love i do love an alphabet oh, there's another <laughs> one there as well i love it there's a few alphabets there isn't it i love it very very nice so go and have a little peruse around the show i realize it means keeping one eye here and one eye there but get your basket sorted out and get that checked out then you know it's safe and secure and everything else and the free gift will be allocated to you in the meantime tracy over to you thank you good evening everyone thank you for joining us for the anniversary and thank you for all your purchases uh, this is what i'm going to create first i'm going to do a journal page and what i wanted to do is incorporate a few of the stamps but also with the stencils as well i like a lot of layered elements if you want to pair that back you can pair that back at any stage during the demo so what i'm going to do is i always like to start on some demos by just stamping a couple of the elements just so that you can see the detail in the stamps i sometimes find that Sometimes we rush to the backgrounds and we don't take a look at the stamps. So I'm just going to stamp the leaf because I actually do need three of them anyway for the demonstration. So I'm stamping with VersaFine Claire Nocturne Black ink. And as always, I'm allowing that ink to sit, allowing it to rest on the card. I'm using Bockingford. And I'm using Bockingford on this occasion because it'll allow me to, to watercolour and it'll leave a really good effect. So I'm going to stamp the leaf and I'm just going to show you the daisy just so you can see the effects. And then we'll colour those. We're not going to colour them totally because you don't want to watch me just colouring for the whole session. But just so that you can see the detail in those stamps. Just allow that ink to rest on your card. Don't be in too much of a rush. It needs to soak into the card to give a good impression and using those acrylic blocks that have got flexibility and it, they've got beautiful images on there. I always think that they look better when they're stamped. And if you didn't want to do anything else, even if you just stamp those on a card, it gives you loads of detail just from that. It is, it is so, so lovely. It really is. It's just that extra little bit of depth. Exactly. And, and light and dark as well. Just to let you know, by the way, the acrylic blocks, because we have only just recently, uh, or All in Great, have only just recently re uh, released the A7 um, acrylic blocks, but they go right up to A4 as well. So pretty much every size that you're going to need, All in Create have an acrylic block, which is flexible to go with those stamps. So you can kind of emulate what you're seeing in the demos if you shop by brand on the website just look for all and create you will find them i promise you so what i've got now is i've got one of all and creates a6 acrylic block and i'm just going to create a very simple background because what i'm trying to make it again is because we're a stamp company we're about stamps i don't want to just spend all my time doing the backgrounds without sort of giving prominence to the stamps so i'm placing the ink pad directly on the acrylic block and just spritzing that with water and again i'm using bockingford mainly because the bockingford this time will give me plenty of movement with the inks so it'll allow me to press these inks and create a background at my own pace and don't waste all these little bits these little dotty bits make sure that you use those as well add those all around your background and we're not going to dry this because we, I want to spend time doing other things. I've got one that's already dry. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to, I'm using twisted citron and peacock feathers. I'm now going to apply the peacock feathers to the acrylic block and do exactly the same. Now, if you want a really good effect, what you need to do is you need to layer your colors. Don't be in a rush like I am at the moment because you're on live TV and you rush it a little bit because you're short on time. What you need to do is you need to do this several times to create your background and to create depth. So you would re you'd repeat that three, maybe four times 
And what you do when you're at home is you allow that to dry naturally. You make sure that it dries naturally because you get a more intensity of colour. And then we've got one that we did before in Blue Peter fashion. Other programmes are available. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I've just got this background here. And that's a nice, simple background. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give it some life with our stamps. So I'm going to take the circles. I can never remember where the stamps go. I've looked at them that long now. I'm like, which stamp goes where? <laughs> <laughs> I should know by now. <laughs> so I'm using this lovely circle one, which I adore. I love circles anyway. But there's just something that I find appealing about circles. They're just pleasing to the eye. And when you're using them in a the background, I, I just think they always look aesthetically pleasing. So I'm inking that stamp. I'm giving it a really good inking with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne. And I'm giving it an inking with the wrong ink pad because I'm such a professional. That one's an old ink pad. I need one that's a bit wetter. And what's your ink of choice, Tracy? I do like the VersaFine Claire for the All and Create stamps, mainly because as designers, we put a lot of detail in there. Obviously, the smaller stamps, you can use your archival. But with these detailed stamps, and you want them to pick the detail up beautifully, VersaFine Claire every time. Because it, stay, it stays wetter longer. And because it stays wetter longer, it gives you time just to ink it up. If you use an archival, it dries too quickly for these stamps. So I'm just... And you'll find the ink on the website if you shop by brand Sukaniko, which starts with a T. <laughs> I, can never I can never pronounce that. I'm so pleased you said it. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm allowing that ink to sit on there. And I don't rush the process. I can use my acrylic blocks. I can lift the acrylic block up just to make sure that I get this central area here, which is where we sometimes miss. And then you've got a beautiful image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend the design a little bit. Now... Some, a lot of this background is going to be covered up, but that doesn't matter because you still see a suggestion of it in the background. So don't worry about covering some of it up. I know sometimes people say, well, why have you done the background and then you cover bits up? It's so that when you're looking at it, it's pleasing to the eye because you can see a mere suggestion. So I'm just drying some of this off because I just want to extend the design in different places. Just because this is lengthways in the stamp, doesn't mean you can't just use one part of the stamp. So I'm just going to use this one circle just to extend the design a little bit. Again, right. just giving that a good inking. And what I'm going to do is just use my kitchen roll and just wipe over just so I don't get too much of this. And what I'm going to do is extend this a little bit. I'll try to keep that in camera. Just extend this to here. Now, because I've got this gap here on the circle, I can yes. overlay the circles. So I can overlay them to make a background. So you could complete a whole A3 sheet and then yeah. you could cut it up. You don't have to do it this way. You could do a whole big sheet and then cut it up into pieces. So just add this here. And we're just extending this design here. And I'm going to extend the design a little bit here just to make it a little bit more pleasing to my eye. It's so stunning. It's just really, really nice. The flow, the movement, everything else. I just need to quickly um, talk to uh, lovely Madeline and actually anybody else that was wondering. Um, and Madeline's emailed in and she said it's an absolutely exquisite collection, uh, which kind of goes without saying, but thank you so much, Madeline, because it's nice to hear back from you as well. That live feedback is really, really important. Um, but Madeline wondered whether the stamps were available individually. And some of them are, if you go and um, shop by brand, so shop by brand, all and create, but there isn't a huge amount available. In fact, it's a tiny, tiny amount. And now I've just said that on telly, uh, <laughs> there'll be others who, who race to it as well. So uh, I would, again, uh, be quick. Shall I quickly run through the names again, Katie? Did? Shall we just run through the stamp set names? Because I think it would be worth doing. So foliage is the one that, that Trace is working with right now with all of the circles. Of course, there's much more than just the circles. There's the leaves, there's that little kind of postmark look. Um, it, it, there's a bit of everything going on there, which is beautiful. So that one's called foliage, and it is number 496. Um, 
Are the numbers actually on the descriptions, Katie, or not? I can't remember, actually. Anyway, the other one is called At One With Nature. And I always feel like that when I'm in the garden. I'm so glad you're a gardener, Tracy, because there's, oh, there's a great joy in gardening. You get to understand a lot about you, life, relaxation. Oh, it's just, just it's journey. So peace, just wonderful. It's peaceful. Yeah. I know it's hard work sometimes, yes. but just being out there, it's good for you. Yeah, it especially really at this time of the year when it's so warm as well. It's like, it's really well, nice. Hang on a minute. Red hair, pale skin. Oh, yeah, a bit too warm, maybe, yeah. yes, at bit the moment. Too, my craft room has been 40 degrees and I've been creating these samples, it's nearly finished me off. 40 degrees? Mm. Mm. It's so hot in Did you have a fan in there? Yes, that didn't help. Oh. <laughs> well, did no, a... a fan's only below the temperature yeah. around, around exactly. the space, don't exactly. they, really? So, thank you for that, Madeline, thank you. So, I'm just blotting the ink, because normally when you create a background, you're adding this wet ink onto your background, you need to make sure that you blot that ink. If you're not going to blot, then you need to give it a dry because that ink stays wet a long time. So you do need to blot because you do get ink from there. OK. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of stenciling using... I think this is Janet's stencil, Janet Klein's stencil. I get confused between Janet Klein and Absy's stencils this these is, days. This one's in a bundle, I think, isn't is it? Is it? I yes, seem I think to remember. You might. Is yes, this the one that's bundle. in the bundle with Quattro Fiori? And yes, I think you're right. And we'll find it. We'll ca you carry <laughs> on, we'll find it. So I'm going to use the peacock feathers again, and I'm going to have a tone on tone. Now, normally you see me use my cut and dry foam, but if I want just a more delicate look, I'm just going to use the brush, just to give me a slightly more delicate look okay. to the background. It's the only time I use brushes if I want the look to be more delicate. If I want more ink and I want more intensity, then I'll use cut and dry foam or ink blending tools. And what you can normally do is you can hold this down with a piece of low tack tape mm -hmm. if you're a bit worried about adding the ink and you've not got the, the security blanket of having the low tack tape. I just tend to hold mine down and you can see that you've got lovely detail That's here so cool, in the background it? now all these are just going to be mere suggestions by the time you put the background together so what we're going to do now for me that's your one layer it's it needs a bit of life to it so we're lacking on some life so what we do again is i've got a strip of card not measured just cut randomly and what I'm going to do is we don't have to use the whole part of a stamp. Let's just move that out of the way so that you can see. We don't have to use a whole part of a stamp. We can use just bits and pieces of it. So what I'm going to do is just use this strip and just stamp it onto the strip of card. Just because the background needs a pop of something else. Mm -hmm. It just, need, it just needs some more life. So I've just got a little part stamped piece. I often like to do this. And if I bring in the one that I've done before, as you can see, I've cut around it. So then I can lay oh, wow. this up just so that it looks a bit more realistic. Just find the spot and then we can line it up. There we go. That's where it goes. So now I can adhere that. Did I bring my adhesive? I've left my adhesive. Would you mind five seconds, Graham? It's fine. Reading I, while I just I've, grab I've, my adhesive. I've got some. Uh, I've got some uh, emails here. Uh, Susan's emailed and she said, "I love the way this is all done, like a clipboard." Didn't Janice wanted a clipboard last night? She'd be terribly jealous if she's watching this. Uh, just to say, I love all and create. Tracy's designs are a favourite. Favourite. Can Tracy please give a brief history of how the company came about? Who are all the designers and how they got the name? I've always wondered about how All and Create got its name as well. Um, enjoy Tracy's demo so much. Thank you, Tracy, says Susan. Um, and Hope um, has emailed as well saying, uh, Hi, Tracy, it's nice to see you live. It's only one o'clock here, so I can watch your every move, and I love it. You are no longer hopeless, says Hope, <laughs> <laughs> which is lovely. So I don't know where Hope is. She's in America. Oh, is she? Hope's in America, yes. Oh, she's, so it'd be lunchtime -ish. She's been very supportive, actually. She's a really good customer, so she's lovely Fabulous. Hope is. We've had another email also from... Who is it from? Tom. Saying, another stunning selection. Can't wait to play. Brilliant. Oh, thank you, Tom. 
Do so, you know how All and Create got its name? So All and Create started five years ago. And it was the brain, I'll do, oh, I'm not ignoring you, I'm talking and cutting at yeah, the same time. So it was the brainchild of Abs and Law Labard, who I believe is French. I don't know the involvement with Abs, but that's where the All and Create name came. Ah. Abs Abad and Law Labard. Ah. A A L L. Oh, I see. Uh, and it was the brainchild, whether they both thought that up together. So that's where the name comes from. Right. So they're, they're very good friends. They, Abs does lots of shows. Yeah. They, you know, do a lot of work together. So that's where the whole concept came. And that was five years ago. Yes. And five years ago, excuse me, such a professional. That's five right. years ago, we used to do, not we, All and Create used to do online classes. Uh -huh. And that's how it all started. Abs always wanted to have a company that would be more than just online classes. He always wanted something more. He always wanted products. Yeah. So then he, he headhunted designers. So he headhunted Bapasha. Janet Klein, myself, mm -hmm. uh, but he always wanted a company that was uh, all over the world. Yeah. He didn't want designers just from the UK, just yeah. from India, just from, yeah. he wanted them all over the world to yeah. give lots of variety. Yes. Um, so that's how we all came together. None of us knew each other. I mean, I knew Janet Klein from previous years. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. known Janet Klein a long time, yeah. uh, but we didn't know each other before then. So Abs brought everybody together. Physically? Physically. Okay. Not, not physically, because okay. obviously um, the Apache is in Australia. Right, yeah. Janet Klein's in America. OK, right, yeah. Um, so that can be difficult to pick a time. Exactly. But, <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> but it was, it was brought together, you know, through Abs's passion of wanting to incorporate lots of designers. Yeah. Um, Multi-talented, different designers, male, female, whoever strikes... Abs is fancy, don't mean that in a thingy way, but yeah, you know, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, struck a chord with him, yeah. he then head hunted them. Uh, and we started very slowly with stamps. Um, I remember doing my first one and only stamp design. And we all started very differently, but you know, we I can't believe that none of us design together. We don't do anything together. No, no. We design, you know, behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we come together, we're like, oh. That goes with my... Oh, that goes with my... Yeah. So it's quite surprising how they all come together. It, it's brilliant. When you think of the diversity within the stable of All, all and Create, uh, because you can see that every designer very much has their, their own style, their own swing, um, and yet the whole thing just, just all comes together. You can take any designer, any number, and put two stamp, st stamp sets together um, and stencils and just go, that works. How does that work? It's brilliant. It's really, really good. So what was your background before All and Create then, Tracy? I used to be a personal assistant uh, for many years for a computer company. Right. Uh, and then I had my own craft shop for 10 years. Right. Went, went in a totally different direction. Yeah. Uh, I've run my own business with my husband, which again is computer software. Right. Don't ask me about computer software. I do the admin. OK, yeah. I'm a dinosaur when it comes to computer software. Right, OK. But it's my husband's side yeah um and then i just changed direction wanted something else i've always and, fan dabbled and, and and i can see in your eyes all the happier for that oh yes definitely absolutely all the happier absolutely for that. i think we've got a picture have we have we got a picture <laughs> i thought i'd heard rumors of a picture in my ear there oh um, God. lucy sent us a picture oh lucy's fab we did this on a workshop uh, on a sewing workshop that we did. Not literally sewing, but it's with my sewing stamps. Yeah. Uh, and we did this on a workshop and we have a fab time together. And Lucy's lovely, another lady who's very supportive. And we just have a great time, a great laugh. It's just a, a wonderful community. If you took Lucy's piece there and introduced it to your new collection right now... Yeah. Again, the world... Or you could add the circles, you could, yeah. The absolutely. worlds would collide absolutely beautifully. I think that is the great thing with All and Create. We, we, kind of, we kind of forget to think about all of the... And I always call it cross-pollination, because <laughs> it is so true, isn't it? You're always creating hybrids. And that's the great thing, is that the seeds of inspiration are here with All and Create, and those seeds are scattered all over the world. But they all come together here, and then you... It's almost like... It is like a packet of seeds, and then you grow the wonders that, that come from that. 
That's quite a good analogy, that, isn't that was it? Fed. That was too, too good for me. That was a bit poetic, that. <laughs> oh, I nearly had a moment then. Uh, we are so, so busy, by the way. So if you haven't yet checked out your order, um, I, would, I would look lively on it, to be honest with you, because it is really flying out of the door. It really is. Uh, remember, it's two A5 stamp sets, brand new release. Literally, this is it, premiere. Uh, the collection is only half an hour old, and there are a lot of people who have already confirmed their order right now. So if over 30% of the entire stock <laughs> has already sold out and gone. It is there on two Flexi Pays for you, Flexi Buys as well. And also, don't forget, it does come with the free gift. So if you're shopping um, in these one-day special um, hours, there's a free gift, which is another brand-new Premier stamp called Squiggles. A brand new, never been launched before, uh, should be on with details at $7.99, but there's one per customer while stocks last coming to you absolutely free if you're shopping on these one-day special shows. And again, I'm going to say it again, if you were shopping on the All & Create show, the WOW Weekend show with abs earlier, different gift. Different gift. It's brilliant. We're just being showered with gifts. We've got fancy balloons, <laughs> balloons and everything. As well. We're just missing the champagne, we yeah, said, didn't we? No champagne. But there you go. I mean, go. Abs is slacking, isn't he, really? But you've got a busy 24 hours, Tracy. Yeah, well, true. And I don't <laughs> drink anyway, so oh, I've been well, there you go. Mind you, I could be pretty dangerous on the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> it could be an interesting <laughs> show. <laughs> the customers would love it, trust oh, me. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I would as well. I'd, <laughs> I'd stay for overtime for that. Uh, right, where are we? So, what I'm doing now is can you see here, we've got this little bit of a uh, leaf within the circle. Yep. We've also got the big leaf that coordinates with that. And I'm just going to extend my design a little bit further. So I'm just going to stamp this to extend the design. So think about your stamps and how you can create your own collage. This is what I like doing best. I like messing with the stamps just to see what I can come up with with different designs. But that stamps beautifully. It just works so lovely. Now, what I've got here is I've got the three leaves. Now, what we need to do is, where's the ones we stamped before? There we go. Just to colour those, just on the Bockingford, because the Bockingford... Let's move this out of the way so you can see. Because the Bockingford works so well for water colouring, it's so easy. You don't need anything, any technical skills. Just spritz your leaf with water. And then just pick this up, just spritz that a little bit with water as well. And you can literally just drop this colour in. And the more you do this, and the more random you do it, the better it looks. So don't try to be too specific. You know, leaves are not regimented colours. There's lots of veining, there's lots of different colours. And this is artistic licence. Your leaves can be any colour you want them. You don't have to be green just because you see a green leaf. It can be anything in your artistic endeavours. So that's all I've done to colour the leaf. And then I allow it to dry naturally. So just wipe that up. I've got, I've got another theory on Bockingford. People like using it because they just enjoy saying the word. I dread saying it because I just know it's not going to... With my accent as well, I just think it's not going to come out right at all. No, it, always, it, it does. No, it does every time. I, lo I, love, I just love hearing that word. It's just so grand, it's just so palatial, it's just so big and aristocratic sounding. Everyone should be working on Bockingford, shouldn't they? I've renamed Leone Lady Leone Bockingford because uh, I just think it's such fun. But it, it, it's brilliant, brilliant cardstock, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I love it, especially if you're using wet uh, mediums, especially watercolouring yeah. and coloured pencils. Yeah. So what I've got here is I've machine stitched through the leaves because I like all these threads, I like the natural feel to them. And what I tend to do is I tend to mess around with the feel of the composition. So I know that I want them down here like this. I want them down here. But when I was talking to you about a mere suggestion of your background, even though we're covering some of that up, you've still got this detail here. Yeah. And it's what draws the eye in when you start to put everything together. So now I'm happy, even though I'm on live TV, I still have to faff and look at if the compositions, even though I've got one in front of me, sometimes I change my mind, do something a bit different, but I still, even here, even though I'm repeating one I've done before, sometimes I still mess around with the composition. Or I always take a photograph just to check what I like and which composition I like. 
I love so. the idea. I love the idea of sewing through that. Oh, I, I love adding that's... sewing because I love the, the dangly threads because it yep. adds another texture to your design. I can't sew for toffee, so sewing through card in a random fashion suits me down to a T. Oh, Tracy, and I was just about to suggest to you that you designed your own sewing machine because I think we'd all go oh, for one. Oh, no, not a chance. Oh, OK. Because if I made a dress for you, trust me, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> not a chance. I haven't got the legs for a dress, Tracy, anyway. Oh, I might have the legs, but it still wouldn't fit properly. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, it'd look a disaster. <laughs> Right, now, this is lacking life for me, so it needs some oomph, it needs some colour. So what we've got is, we've got our daisy. Now, I'm not going to stand here and colour the whole time, because I know when I'm watching TV, you don't just want to sit... You might fall asleep if I just do that for a couple of hours. <laughs> so just get my brush going. Yeah. And what I've got here is I've got two Inktense pencils, and I'm just going to show you just how... I colour one of the petals. Okay. Because I'm a great believer, I, I love teaching, mm -hmm. but I also think that when you're demoing, you shouldn't skip over any stages. Yeah. Because to assume that everybody knows how you've done something is the wrong thing. Yeah. You need to assume that everybody doesn't know mm -hmm. how to do it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just going to add a little bit of colour just here. So I'm just going in with an orange and then I'm just going in with a red just to give it some depth. Just like so, just to give that a little bit of depth. And let's just do the centre so you can see how I bring that to life as well. So, as you can see, really professionally done, just scribbled on there <laughs> in a really professional manner. <laughs> really stressful. <laughs> so, just add a little bit of red. Now, I'm no colourist, but I do like to at least do something I'm happy with. Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. As long as you're happy with it, don't judge yourself by anybody else's standards. Just water that out, just to blend it out, and then blend the red out. And do the same. And the Inktense pencils are water-reactive, and you can use them on fabric as well. Just get a bit of that moisture. And then what I do, I obviously spend a long time doing this flower. There isn't time when you're doing the shows, but what I do is I pick a little bit more of the pigment up and I add a little bit more pigment to the flower. You need to take time to add that intensity and always leave a little bit of lightness just here because it looks, makes it look a little bit more realistic. A little bit of the red, just to add that. And I always find this really relaxing to do. And what I tend to do is when it's dry, I'll repeat the same process. So you need to do that just to colour the flower, but just to bring it to life a little bit more, <laughs> just get your gel pens and just add a few dots to the inside of your flower. I'll bring in one that I've ah, done before so you can see. a different see. texture as well. A different yeah, yeah. texture, plus when you see the whole flower coloured, yeah. so a white gel pen and an orange gel pen will just bring it to life. Let me just place those back. Let's bring one I've done in earlier. Great. So you can see oh. you just spend a lot of time and this just gives it a little bit more dimension with the gel pens. Can Tracy, I get I my it. words Tra out? Do you know what? I, I could watch from, from now a non-stop five hours of this. <laughs> Luckily, we have got five hours to enjoy and just indulge um, in everything that Tracy's doing. Now, I'm going to take this opportunity, Tracy, if it's all yeah, right by you, because fine. things are so, so busy. Um, I just need to remind those people that feel like, OK, what is it then? What is it? What is it? What is it? Show me, show me, show me. Um, because you do need to get in quick, because we are a third of the stock, the entire stock. Uh, and remember, this is the stock for 20 24 hours worth of shows. Hmm. Uh, proving very, very popular so far. Not sure if it's going to last the whole day, to be honest with you. Um, it's amazing value, but actually, to, for me, I don't think, I'm not sure that I've even mentioned the price actually once, because for me, this is not about the price. This is about uh, the indulgence. This is about the, the opportunities. This is about the journeys that you can take with this collection. This is about enjoying the work of this wonderful lady here and actually seeing her putting her stamps 
in collaboration with other stamps and stencils from All and Create as well, which is superb. So let me walk you through the collections then. Um, it's two A5 stamp sets. This is the first one called Foliage, which is beautiful. Those lovely big circles, lots of flora in there and fauna. Um, and there are lots of words and numbers, as is absolutely signature All and Create as well. So that's the first of your A5 stamp sets. The second one is at one with nature. I want to stand here like that and say that. I'm at one with nature. I'm very zen. Um, so you've got the rosemary there. You've got that wonderful little vase uh, with just that single stalk coming out. That single stem is the word I'm looking for uh, coming out of the vase, which is lovely. Um, and again, big, big words in that signature type face, which is all in create. So they're the A5s. You've got four A7 stamps as well. And these are just amazing background, foreground and everywhere in between. Um, Let's go from over here, where we'll start with leaves. I mean, you can see from the, the, the numbers that are on these stamps, I mean, they, they do number everything sequentially, um, don't they? And actually, I, I'm not sure if even Abs knows you're up to that number, actually. I think he gave me a slightly lower number earlier. But of course, this is a premiere release, so it never stops. Uh, second one is called Open Leaves. Uh, and these are wonderful, because they're a bigger scale, that for me looks amazing. It reminds me a bit of stained glass window as well. And I would love to get in there with something glossy or something. Yeah, or you know. use your alcohol inks. Yeah, definitely. And then stamp that over the top. <clears throat> would be awesome. Um, the third one you've got there is called Daisy Wise. Um, again, which is beautiful. Those petals are nice and open. There's lots of space for you to get in. You can imagine the background colouring going on there as well. And then the fourth one and the final one is called uh, Indulge in Daisies. Now... If you are shopping in this show now for the first time, whether it be the one day special or anything else, you'll also get one of these, which is the brand new Premier Squiggle Stamp from Lovely Tracy. This is $7.99 on its own, but it is a free gift if you are shopping in these Tracy Evans one day special shows. So that's six o'clock now. 8 o'clock tonight, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, midday and 4 p.m. Well, depending on how we get on. That's while stocks last and one per customer. That should be $7.99 on its own. So not only are you saving your £5 there on your one-day special with the ability to split it down into two payments, instead of four A7 stamps, you could almost think of it as five, really, couldn't you? Because you get the free squiggle, squiggle one as well. Um, it's awesome. Right. All of Tracy's collections uh, work together beautifully. So if you have Tracy's previous collections, fantastic. If you haven't, they're all on the show as well, or a huge number of them are actually on the show. So if you check that out on the website, uh, you will see it there. Let me show you some finished samples. Again, I've done it again. Always first one is a, is a, tra is a uh, Janet, Janet Pring uh, <laughs> sample. I just love them. I just think they're absolutely brilliant. The design team are superb. I'm just going to drop in another one there from lovely Joe Rice. Look at that. Is that using some of the uh, some of the washi as well, isn't it? Yes, some it of the is. all and create yeah, famous washi. Oh, there is some on the show actually as well, which is superb. We'll bring the details onto the bottom of the screen. Oh, look, here's a sample using squiggles. The brand new one. So there's few people in the world who have this stamp yet, Tracy. Uh, that's the design. Just the design team. Yeah. Nice. See, that's a place to be, isn't it? to make it onto the All and Create the Create Design team. What a wonderful privilege that <laughs> is. And, and you can see the names of the All and Create Design team, by the way, at the bottom of the screen, they're scrolling through because they're absolute superstars. They really, really are. Now, this one doesn't have a name on it. Is this? That might be Heather. I remember, or is it he um, that might be Heather. I don't know. It, 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 it might be Pip. On that one. Um, I love it. Uh, OK, right. Uh, stock update again. They are coming thick and fast tonight, let me tell you. Uh, there are a lot of conversations going on in the background about how quickly this is going. Over a third of the stock, and I know the size of the stock as well. It is humongous because we know it needs to be, because we know the more you see more at All and Create, the more you want it, the more you see and love certain designers, the more you want them. And so it's like a snowball rolling down the hill. So we have to go bigger and bigger and bigger every single time. So over a third of the whole day stock sold out already. Please do get yours as quickly as you can. Now, we've had another picture in from Jenny. Lovely Jenny. Thank you. Let's have a little look at your picture, Jenny. Uh, here it is. Oh, look at all the colours there. Don't you love it when they send in the pictures, though? Yes, she's used one of the, the wings from the, the Beatles stamp set 
or maybe Olga's stamp set, but yes, because I can see the screw heads in the body. So I love it. I love it when they send the samples in. I'm expecting some from Patricia and Diane as well, so they should be sending some in. Fabulous. I like to see their work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, Listen, we, we always love to see your images. Keep them coming through uh, and we'll try and show as many as we can across the 24 hours. Uh, studio at thecraftstore.com is our email address. Um, here's another one that's just popped into the inbox from Jane. Oh. That's with the cam, yes, with my A4 stamp set and the containers stamp set as well. So there's a few stamps like that. I love the ice cream colours. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? It's really yeah. atmospheric. It's very kind yeah. of like sunset, tropical sunset but colours, isn't it? But that has a bit it? of a hippie kind of vibe to it as well. Though. Isn't it? But yeah. I think maybe that, that year on the... That's uh... the year I was born. That's on, my, that's on my stamp. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm no good at maths. And it's always rude to ask a Aging, lady your age. trust me. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't it? You get to a certain stage and then you start going backwards again, don't you? Um, so 6294 then, or two flexies on this one, £5 saving, um, 940283. Don't forget the gift as well, which is another one of uh, Tracy's brand new stamps, which should be £7.99 um, on its own. But that's only while stocks last, while you're shopping in these one day special shows right tracy before we run out of hour yeah okay so can see you see that i'm adding life to it now we're adding life to the design with the pops of orange now just a trick that we did in my shows when i was here previously i'm using an old versafine claire ink what i mean by old is i mean it's very well used and then i'm going to stamp my leaf stamp onto the blackbirds so just stamp that onto the blackbirds, but make sure you use an ink pad that is well used. And then we're going to stamp the blackbirds onto the piece of card. And then you can make your blackbirds look completely different. Oh my word, I've never seen that technique ever. Just makes it look completely different, doesn't it? Totally. Love it, love that. So just to add those birds, because I didn't want my birds just to be black birds, I wanted the birds to have that bit of leaf foliage on. Now what I've hit, done here, I've just bring these bits in because we haven't got long and I'll put it together. We've got these numbers here from Abzi's stencil. So I drew around the numbers that are on Abzi's stencil. Put that on white card, Tracy. I drew around those numbers and then I coloured them in just to add these elements to my composition you'll find the stencils by the way that you've seen mentioned uh, if you look at the two o'clock show if you go and look at the products in this show they should be there if not shop by all and create and you will find it there so now i'm thinking about the composition what i'm thinking is i don't want to cover every inch of space and also i want some of that stenciling these numbers in the background to be visible so i'm very aware of the composition so i've got my little girl here who's out in her garden as well so we're going to add this sentiment that is also from the stamp set, crisp, because leaves are nice and crisp. So just add that. And we're going to add the little girl so that she's just sitting <laughs> on there because she's looking out in the garden. And then I wanted to add these numbers just because I love random numbers. And just to add to my composition, just to bring this turquoise colour and this lime green colour in to the foreground to join the leaves. So just add these numbers here, just to help with that composition. And just add a few more bits. Now you don't want to cover, you don't want to just plonk it up here. You want to leave some of this open space, mm -hmm. just so the open space is pleasing to the eye. So I'm now just layering these bits, mainly because we're short of time. So I'm just aware of that. So just adding my bird here. And then I just want to add the foliage sentiment. So add that foliage sentiment here, just so that we're keeping it in with the cluster. And just make sure that when you've done your sentiments, you just add some of that ink tense pencil just around the outside edge just to give it some shading. Let's just get rid of that green colour and just shade that out, just to give it a little bit of shading, just so it pops a little bit more, like so. And then just to finish off, I'm just going to add these little pieces. I always use my scraps of white paper. 
So I'm just adding a little strip here, like so, because it just makes everything pop. And then just add a little piece here. How many seconds, Derek? Oh, it's all right. You're all right for a bit. Oh, that's all right. We've then. got about two and a half minutes, I think. So just add some splatters to your design. Mm -hmm. And then just to give it a little bit more texture. Oh, bricks and bubbles. Oh, no, this is called... Oh, this is the other one that goes this with is, it. This is something... It's called... I've forgotten. Oh, I can't remember now. Houses or something. It's called... It was on house. the Bug house, was it? Bug house, that's it, yes. It goes with bricks and bubbles, which is a larger <laughs> version of that stencil, We get there it? in the end. Yes. Dream team. So I'm just turning this around just so that I can see exactly where... And I just want to add a few little textural bubbles. And those, oh, those stencils are on the Weekend Wow, I've just remembered. They are? <laughs> They're the Weekend Wow, aren't they? But if you don't mess around with your stencil too much, you'll get lots of dimension with the texture paste. Yeah. So just adding a couple of little dots just behind the little girl. It's so quiet in here. I know because we're I can all hear my own voice we're, echoing. we're all transfixed. That's why I mean very rarely am I this quiet. And then you can just you I would just add three. So normally I would clean my stencil. Oh, do you work in ones, threes, fives, and yeah, sevens yes, as I well? Yeah, yes, I can't. It just it plays with my head if I don't. Just yeah, play. Abs was saying that, and I, I even if thought... I just have a little touch, it's like in the garden. I mean, you're supposed to plant threes, fives, and sevens. Like I'm going to plant seven of one design. I want, I want lots of variety. Yeah, absolutely. And I'd need a border about 300 feet long to That's plant. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Garden's not big enough to be able yeah. to do it, is it? Exactly. <laughs> you have to have three of everything. So if you place this in your journal, yeah, let's get the original one. Oh, do you know what? Perfect, perfect timing. So if you place that, place this down. Place this in your journal, and then you've got your journal page spread done. Do you know what? I would be right now on the telly, I'd be pressing my pause button on the Sky or the whatever remote, and I'd just be taking a snapshot of that and saying, right, I'm having that, and I'm, I'm doing that. Tracy, <laughs> thank you so much. You're very welcome, thank that you. That was perfect timing, almost to the second. Thank I have you. to tell you, that's brilliant. <laughs> um, and what are you going to be doing in the next hour, Tracy? I'm doing a paper cast in the next hour with the leaf stamp. Fantastic. And that's only an hour away, by the way, so you don't have long to wait for that at all. This is time to confirm your order right now. I know lots of you have way over a third of the stock has sold out and gone. Let's find out how that situation changes between now at, and 8 o'clock.